Hello everyone, this is Player Art and welcome back to Mass Effect. Now last episode we went we went to one of the planets to save Dr. Leia Tissoni and she's now a companion to the Normandy. And now um, before we go to the next planet we should probably go and talk to everyone. And we never get a chance to talk to Kaiden. Okay. I always keep on saying Kaiden, it's Kaiden. Commander? Do you have a minute? I'm listening. I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the council? Yeah, it's weird. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... But... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. It's true, though. It's funny. We finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. An old-fashioned view. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the drink, Nico? <laughs> Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space. Oh, he's gonna fluster this. Like, oh. he loves or... Yo, we gonna romance him? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. Oh. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. Hmm. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus. Hey, that's all right. What did they train you for? Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, all day is up. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up you with. You thought it was ac accidental? Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics. A little oh. after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using Mass Effect fields. The name Mass Star Effect. Platform when I was there. Friends. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Time to get physical then. Time to talk then. Uh, hold on. Intentional exposures. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Okay, oh hold on a second. Um I may need to skip all of this so that um I may need to get the options. The oh I figured out how to do that. You just press space bar. You just have to press space bar to skip the cutscenes. Time to talk then. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around. Uh. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Do you love her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training. Uh. Yeah. That's sad. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? 
The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. I just, I just want to know my crew. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. I understand, ma'am. I won't let you down. You, uh, make a habit of getting as personal with everyone? Um, to some degree. Of course. But I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. Alright. Now, oh yeah, that's right. Ashley is not a, oh wait, no, um, I think Liara is around. I think she's over here. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Are you okay? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Ah, oh, you're welcome. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. Oh. But I am not like Benezia. That's... I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I'd love to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes, I just need to get away from other people. Why is that? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. No, it's not foolish. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. <laughs> you share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, no, I did not no, mean to insinuate. No. Uh, I never meant Liara, to offend you, no. Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. <laughs> uh, no, that's even worse. Relax, I wasn't serious. Calm down, Liara, I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Oh no, you now just you know why didn't I prefer know. to spend my just... time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never <laughs> happened. Okay, but let's talk about Benezia. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. It's weird. But let's... Okay, but let's go back and talk about something else. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. 
And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. Oh. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Oh. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Oh. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. You don't know that. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Maybe something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. That's true. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. How do they deal with that? The Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Okay, alright, that's it. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Hmm. Alright, now let's go and talk. Okay. Um, okay, Rex. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I mean, that's true. I could tell as soon as I met him. Oh. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well, and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. Oh. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? 
I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke Jeez. to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Hmm. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. Hmm. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? It was a Polis trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Hmm. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Shucks. Every damn one. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting it okay, too we, spread we... out. None of us are interested in staying okay, yeah, in we, our own Okay, yeah, system. we saw this. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, alright, Ashley. Commander? Can we... How are we doing? What's your opinion of the oh, last... I'm sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Okay, I believe it might not matter. We'll watch her. I'm not sure I believe it either. It's better to have her where we can see her. That makes sense. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. What's your opinion? Sure I okay, I, uh, I believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? <laughs> hey, yo, what? Yo, chill. Is that the best way to spend your time, Chief? I read you, Commander. I'll behave. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. Oh I mean, they lasted God, thousands yeah, of years. Can we talk? That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm. I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? What do you mean? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. No, no, no. I can't confine them. I'm not gonna lock them in sleeper pods for the whole trip, Williams. I'd be more comfortable if they didn't have access to engineering and the CIC. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. We need allies. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. I don't see that as inevitable. Look. If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. Oh. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. You have to work with aliens. All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? Uh, yeah, that's it. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Okay, uh, oh, where's, oh, right, there's, uh, Garrus. Commander, how are you? You and CSEC? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. 
That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resume. If I remember correctly, Garrus's father is also in Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, let me look it up. Yeah, he is in um, Mass Effect Andromeda. Katis Vakarian. Yeah. Really? He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. What? You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. Yeah. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Mm. Right. Okay, um... Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, wait, no, Tali. I forgot. Okay, there she is. Oh, hello, Shepard. What's... Like, I need the... You sound wrong. You sound dumb. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing. And your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an oh. air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. Hmm. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Uh -huh. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Hmm. Orient. Okay, no, we did ask her all of that. I should go. See you later. Yep. Okay. Um, Engineer Adams. Something I can do for you, Commander. Celsius. No, we did ask her Carry about. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Right. Let's uh, get back. Up to the let's just get back to the galaxy map. Okay, um, which one do we need to go? Which one do we need to do first? Novaria or Pharos? Um, okay, okay, um, we're probably to get to get to do this. Okay, we'll go to Pharos. Okay, there's a citadel. 
Hosted Nebula. Right. Now this Pharos. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Okay, um, yeah, we're going back to the Citadel. Hold on. And we're back. Finally. Now let's go and talk to this blue sun. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed... Okay, okay. I'm here to make an inspection, this. Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Okay. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. All right. Commander, I'm not happy. About what? What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Oh, we don't have that. We can't fix that. I agree, sir. But I don't see what my crew can do about it. That's something you fix in dry dock. No, Commander. That's something you get right the first time. The first I have to time? I no. that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. Normandy was an expensive ship, sir. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. What is it? Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. You assume I have a choice. I was told to make nice with the Council. If that means our military secrets get out, the Brass only has themselves to blame. I'm so pleased you can wash your hands of it. Have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the no. state of this vessel? I wish we could say these things, but we don't... I wish we could say these things. None, sir. Very well. I'll be sending my report and corrective recommendations to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard? Jeez. Okay, inspect. Oh, not already? Oh my gosh, how much crap do you... Okay. Wait. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. The renegade thing. Wait, does it? Okay, no, it's only to me. Okay. What level am I? Level 12. Okay. Wait, so. Okay, yeah, there's no way we could. Yeah, we just need to like, go down. In a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown oh. crime syndicate. Oh, we we actually gave her the evidence from a fist. 
the uh, the disc from first right so let's just go down come on okay so the lady ha needs should be in the presidium commander shepherd who? who who's talking who just spoke oh Kalisa have been seen in Algelani Westerland news would you answer a few questions for our viewers what do you want to know You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs Ooh, of Earth? Ooh, this is okay. This is the Renegade and the and the um the okay. This is the Paragon the, and the um the Renegade stuff. This is what I was talking about. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say oh, about it? Oh, and it's gone. It's gone. Ah, oh, man. Many details are still classified, I'm afraid. I can tell you she's a fine ship and has the best crew I've ever served with. Some members of that crew are aliens, as I recall. Yes. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? The Normandy has only been loaned to the Citadel. It's a legal technicality that allows me to use her in my new role as Spectre. So this was only to help you in your new job working for the Citadel. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? It's inappropriate for an active duty officer to publicly comment on politics. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Okay, let's uh... Where is that? Okay, there it is. Alright, we need to go to the Presidium. It's the launch one, right? Yeah. Okay, um... Oh my gosh, where... Where is she? Missing Marines? Oh, jeez. Right, I forgot. Okay, um... N Nasana Dantius. Okay. On the Citadel. Oh, she's the ambassador. She wants to be the person. In really? Okay, so I guess we gotta go to the the tower. I guess. Wait, is that? Oh, that's not her. Okay. This is truly magnificent. Most Protean architecture I see is in ruins. Alright, let's uh, go to the Presidium locations and I guess the tower. You know, I could be wrong. I could be like in the wrong location, but Emily, oh, Emily Wong. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Okay, um, right. Oh my gosh. 
to the little traffic control station and oh wrong one okay not here oh my god there's so much to do there is so much to do oh right we need to go to the financial district right i don't remember Citadel traffic controls the I don't know where that is. Cryptomers from Asana, Dante as an Asari Master on Citadel wants to meet with you in person. Okay, you know what? We're not I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance okay, receives. Okay, get, get the truth. Let her choose. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Okay, you're not helping. Of course she is. So are you. Yelling at her will not bring your brother back. How dare you? I'm trying to do what's best for the baby. You're afraid you'll lose the baby just like you lost your brother. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know... Get the baby safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to Aww. be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Oh. All right, so man, there's like so much to do. Right. Um. Anyway, we should probably like, get to the Citadel. I don't know where's the traffic. Traffic. Oh wait, no, CSEC, right? Okay. Um. We just. Oh, someone. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 right here. Oh. That is the wrong way. Uh, hang on. This way, right? Just need to make sure. Yep, it's this way. Is it in here? Yes, in here. We just need to plant a bug. And then we need to go back and... Okay. Alright, so what should you ask her? Okay. Yeah, inform Emily. So, we need to get back to the Citadel. Ooh, first off. Oh, okay, we can't interrupt with that. What? Okay, guess you can't go through that. 
All right, let's let's get back. I really like I really like um I really like um these type of trees. Man, they're like absolutely beautiful, man. <laughs> they're really beautiful. All right, so All right, let's go talk to Emily Wong. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Yeah, hope Thanks so. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Yeah. Okay. So, right. We need to go talk to one of the... Which I... I think... Which I think... I don't know where they are. Interesting. What? Think of all the important decisions the council has made right here. Trillions of lives hanging on their every word and deed. It's all inspiring. Three hundred years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Jeez. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. That's true. Also, where is... Is she not here? See, that's the part I'm so conf... Is she actually... Oh, it's the embassy. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright. Um. Where... Okay, now we're at the... Of course she's at... Oh my gosh, I should have read more. Okay. Wait, is she, that's not her. Oh, she's right here. And a shepherd. I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. What? The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted, transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. Sucks. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. Oh! I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Okay. Alright. Now. Alright, now let's, uh... <clears throat> oh, wrong way. Oh my god, move! Jeez! Okay. Alright, C-Sec. Prothean culture. This must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. Yes, most of the technology I had hoped to bring back to the flotilla has subsequently attempted to kill us. Oh. Okay, we're here. Okay, now let's uh, get back. To, let's just get back to uh, the ship and 
go to Artemis Town. Stan. Right. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Right. Now. Go, 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 go. All right. Come on. Message coming in. Oh. Patch what a, another one? Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. You don't come off very well. She talked rings around you. Um, what can I what could I do? I couldn't just walk away. She shouldn't have ambushed you. We have a press corps for a reason. Nobody's blaming you. Oh just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth fleet out. Fifth fleet? Okay. What's the ones? Artemis Tau, where is Yeah, that is. So somewhere Hold on, just need to make sure, just need to make sure. Okay, so we're going to the Macadon system. And uh, Tali. <clears throat> oh, there we are. So this part is hazardous. So we have to be really careful. Oh gosh, yeah, we have to be really careful. When we get out, oh, jeez, okay. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. I see some I see some enemies on the map. The radar, sorry. <laughs> Yo jeez. Okay, there they are. Turn around. That makes no sense. Okay, so we need to go inside. Are this park on level terrain? I'm on my way. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, it's hazard. Go 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 go. All right.
These kind of aliens, what the hell? What the freak kind of aliens are these? There's another one, but I don't. Oh no, okay, I thought I died. I thought I died. Was like, okay, I was paralyzed. Okay, okay, we need to go there. Here we go. Take that, take all of that. Wait, there, it, there's something. There's actually something else. But what is it? I'm really confused. There's. I don't know what is happening. This is, oh, we have to go downstairs, okay. Okay, so we're not actually done yet. Okay, crap, 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 oh gosh. Oh, it's upstairs, never mind. Okay. Well, time to use the uh, the elevator, I guess. Oh, it's uh, okay. We discover evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and Nasana dancers are important about the understood the sisters. You should return to the presidium and confront Nasana with this. Oh my gosh, she tricked us. Oh my goodness, she tricked us. Oh my goodness. So we gotta go back. Okay, um. Okay, we can show up, we get back. Is there more? Is there anything else that I miss? Okay. Okay. Oh, so Dahlia is dead. Okay, so she's already dead. My question is, how do we get out? Seriously, so how do we actually get out? Oh, we could knock them out. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Wait, but how do you? How do we get back though? How do we get back? Oh, it's right here. Here. Right. the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Come Presley on. had. Commander Kalisa Algilani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. All right. All right. Now let's uh, get to the lounge. Okay. 
Okay. Excuse me. Load in already. Jesus, there we go. Okay. Um, there she is. Yes, Shepard. Did you find my sister? Dahlia's dead. And I know she was blackmailing you. So the truth comes out. I hope you're not angry. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. Do your own dirty work next time. I am sorry I wasn't honest with you. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. She'll transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I don't want your sure freaking you'll find money. Satisfactory. Don't bother. I don't want your blood money. I do not like being in anyone's debt. Consider it a fee for doing your civic duty if it makes you feel any better. Or give it away to some charity. I care not. The funds are already on their way. Oh they are your problem now. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this, bro. I can't believe this, man. Find recon team. Go to spot system. Okay. Okay, there's some stuff that uh, we could... There's actually some stuff that we could do. But for now, let's focus on... Can we go back to... No, we can't. I was about to say, like, can we go back to the Normandy? Um, we can't. We just have to walk all the way to the Normandy. I cannot... Nah, bro. Like, people can just... People can just tell you something. And then afterwards, it, it turns out that they misled you. Nah, bro. How are you gonna... Nah, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Okay, let's just get back to the normally and move on to the story. Your biotic skill is extremely impressive, Dr. Tassoni. Is that typical among Asari? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. And the Asari are the most advanced race on the Council. I wonder if all Citadel races will eventually be natural biotics. Hmm. Alright. Now, let's continue on to Pharaohs. We should have been done, we should have been doing that for, for like, a long time ago, but nah, bro. We got baited by an Asari, bro. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, go to Pharaohs. Please, please let there be no more. Please let there be no more um, as messages, please. Alright. And there's Pharaohs. Oh. Alright, let's go. So what exactly is Pharaohs? I see they do towers, but... Wow. Now we could go. Okay, come on. Heat load monitor. Let's right, go. We will, we're gonna bring Rex and uh, Ashley. interior pressure with exterior at landing officer is ashore exo presley has the deck okay so this is meant to be a, a colony right 
David Al Talaka Talakani. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Wait. Who's Fidan? Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Take cover! Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Okay. They just killed him, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There we go. Move up. Move. Come on. Why is it back? Why is it back? No! I thought we were done! It's up here. It's up here somewhere. Oh gosh! Move! What are you doing? Think we're good, Commander. Oh my gosh, Shepard. Why is the game lacking so... Is this map really that big? It can't know. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Does it get the bloody dangerous? Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers again. The get will surely kill us all. Okay. Poison woman supposed to think with guns going off all around. Oh no, it's not dead. And uh, where's where's Fidan? Geth are mounting another attack. Okay, um, um, um. Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got Gat oh, in the tower. Oh, guys, no. Protect the heart of the colony! Oh, guys. Oh, we gotta kill more. <gasps> oh, gosh. He dodged that. Is that it? Oh no, there's some more, there's some more. I don't wanna die! Please don't let me die! And he's dead. He's dead. Great. Okay. Wait, there's still more? Oh gosh. That was a 
a ship? Oh hell no. That was a ship? Oh no. So are we ready to roll out to wherever the Gether bunkered? Check in with Fight Ann, but I think we're done here. Yeah, let's go back. Oh my gosh. That was Yeah, I guess we can Yeah, it's auto service, so we can't use it. I don't know, maybe we can if it's available as fast travel. For now let's go let's go back to Fidan. Oh god, What? I thought they were... I thought we were done with them. What happened? I can't see. Oh gosh. Wait, oh it's F, right. I thought we were done with them. Oh gosh. Okay, where are we? Okay. Wait, how do you throw a grenade again? Oh, screw it, I don't know. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one right here. Doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no, why is it? Okay, we need to, yeah, we need to go to the other side. Wait, why did we? Okay, there we go. Where's the uh, the other one? Right here. Okay, area map. Area map. What? <laughs> what area map? It doesn't. It doesn't have like a unless it doesn't. I don't know. Whatever. Fight done. Oh, tell fight done. Okay. Gas transmitter. Wait, what? Zeus Hope. Okay, we need to get to Zeus Hope. There's a transmitter, but what? There's an actual trans. Shields down. Oh gosh! Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay. Okay. 
Oh gosh. Oh wait, that's Rex. Oh my. Not now, Shepard. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, heal, heal, right now. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. There's an actual like trance. Oh, we could destroy it. Okay, it's done back, bro. Gotta give these colonists credit. They don't give up easy. Hmm. This place has seen better days. Yeah, apparently it has. Alright, so let's just let's just take a look at these things. Hmm. Oh, recoil damage damper. Okay, let me just uh Okay, and the rifle. Okay, no. We don't have any Try explosives. Okay, um, how do you? Okay, I want to know how do you use, um, grenades again? It's not G. It it has to be something, right? It's not G. Oh, freak controls. Okay, out R. It really? It's ah? Uh? Well, that's weird. Okay, you know what? I'm assigning it. I'm just gonna go and assign it to G. Okay, grenade would be G. So, so let's just go back to two so wait what the freak oh hell no what are they what the freak are they firing oh gosh not now shepherd what the freak what the what in the hell Okay. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, go back. What? what? When did they come back? Oh gosh. No. Okay. Full save. Where are they shooting? Okay. I was lit Clear. Okay, good, good, good. I just I guess we don't need to do all that all that valve thing, so we're good. We just needed to wait where do we need to go exactly? Oh this way. No, we got stairs. Can this be open? Nope. Yeah, so we're gonna end this right here. So, anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.